earnings from Money 2020 here in Amsterdam. This afternoon, I'm speaking with Mr. Igor Skatchkov, Chief Product Officer at Payable. Igor, good afternoon. Good afternoon. And thank you for taking the time to speak with us. Uh, Payable's stand tells, you, tells us that you take care of payments while we can take care of business. Can you please explain who is Payable and what do you offer? Yeah, so Payable is the payments company, I would say. We started like more than 20, 12 years ago Yes. Uh, with payment processing. And uh, payments is our core, while we offer a variety of other payment methods uh, and financial services, not only card, yes. but also local payment methods. We open bank accounts. We provide uh, international payments through SEPA, SWIFT, and other payment rails and also we uh, issue cards. So it's a full scope of financial services in one place. So this is payable. Excellent. And are your clients principally banks and other financial institutions or are they non-banks? Our clients are mostly uh, e-com merchants. Yes. And recently we introduced uh, post terminals. So it's not only e-com, but uh, retail merchants who sell on the ground. Right. Uh, but we, of course, partner with different uh, institutions, including financial, to yes. provide the services to, to our clients. Yeah. So you're essentially providing infrastructure that makes e-commerce easier. Yeah, yeah. It makes, it makes you uh, feel that someone is handling payments for you right. and you don't need to care about this because you just uh, remove this headache from you and focus on your primary uh, product. Are there particular offerings that you're uh, talking about at this, uh, at this conference? So we actually working on uh, our new platform, which we uh, make combining all the different services which we've been providing through the time into right. one thing, which we call internally payable one. Maybe it will become official name of this platform one day. So instead of uh, having different interfaces, different APIs, uh, and even different contracts for all these services, we can uniform, uh, we can make it all in one platform, call it Payable One, with a single API and with a stack of all the financial services that, that we can offer. Yeah. Now, um, the, for your client, is the advantage of that that it's cheaper for them or just better and more user friendly for them, or both? The core of our business is convenience of, of the service we provide is the client support, yes. which is always a human face uh, client yes. support, and also the uh, coverage. Taking a three-year view of uh, payments and y your industry, uh, what are the main trends that you think we should look out for? Yeah. So today, obviously, uh, the trend of uh, artificial intelligence uh, it's booming. Everyone makes uh, artificial intelligence on their stands. Uh, yes. you know? So you see uh, on every booth there is something about artificial yes. intelligence. Also instant payments. This is the trend that everyone thinks all the payments will move towards. Uh, you know, by now, pay later, it, it's still a trend. Yes. And uh, lots of companies now provide it, but I would say uh, it's not so big. Uh, there is no so hype as it was like two years ago when Klarna was uh, yeah. uh, raising uh, and growing. Yeah. yeah, interest rates are not where they used to be four years ago. Yeah, that's yeah, for sure. Yeah. And one more trend is embedded finance. Yes. As I started talking about all these uh, uh, banking integrations, you know, every company feels now to bring more loyalty to their customer base. They need to provide some, you know, some f financial services in a way. They provide either loyalty, they provide a wallet that you can use to buy, or they provide you some, uh, I don't know, some uh, payment cards for you to withdraw cash. So all this requires to embed finance, and this is the trend. Yes. Financial companies partner with financial companies or with non-financial companies to build, uh, to design solutions together.